SCFD squad and welcome to the final match week of Stat Wars The League, that's what it's called, and it's Judgment Day for me. And look who I'm playing, poetic, Shakespearean, the man who I started this game with could be the one to confine me to the bin. The bin, the door The sunny bin. If Sunny stayed up and I went down, I'd, I'd deserve my place in the championship. Yeah, you would. How is he back in it? Who's let him back in it? Well, because Why am I running scared of Sonny? This is pathetic. The from system's me. let him back in it. There's going to be a playoff, right? So I'm playing for a place in the final, right? The yeah. playoff final. And you're playing to avoid a place in the relegation playoff. In the automatic relegation spot, yes. So I think I'm. Ooh, ooh, I, stakes are high. I think I'm <laughs> doomed to the relegation playoff no matter what happens, unless I win this 3 0 and then Doogie and Joe don't win their last fixture. But I've definitely got the hardest last fixture. Thanks, appreciate it. See you on the other side. Football, a sport we all love, a sport we like doing quizzes about. Oh, it's bloody Stat Wars. Chris could be finito after this. Could be relegated, champion to relegation. Also depends on the other results elsewhere, but we'll give those to you as they come in. Um, the first question goes to, I don't know, who, George? Chris. Sean Nijau has asked, name the player that assisted Edda's winning goal, <laughs> was it an Edda? I don't know. In the 2016 European Championship final. The this has got to be just a guess. House final of all time. I think he scored it from about 25 yards. It's a good goal, but I don't remember anything about what led to it. An absolute grass cutter, wasn't it? Was it was such a boring <laughs> final. Bernardo Silva didn't play. Okay. So there's one Portuguese man I can discount. Right, cool. Manish. Retired by then two. Yeah. On a fucking hot streak. So. For some reason, I think I might just say Matinho. I'm thinking a central midfielder that's, yeah. that's got over 100 caps reported. I feel like if you guess one of the guys who definitely played in the final, you've at least got a percentage chance. Yeah. Who else has played in central midfield more times than Matinho? Matinho probably, little five, ten yard pass to Adair, let Adair do the rest, the goat, the clutch. I feel like they change DM every tournament. They have William Carvalho, they have Danilo Pereira, like whoever it is. Veloso. Miguel Veloso. I had high expectations for him. 20s all over the shop and foot manager. Matinho. Yes! Oh! Strong. Needed open. that! Needed Troubling. that. Troubling. Worrying. Joe Hart, 48. Named two of the four players to score a hat-trick for Liverpool in the Champions League proper. Qualifying rounds don't count. <laughs> Kobe. Okay. Has Mane done it or Firmino? I feel like one of them has. For some reason, I don't think I don't feel like Salah has. It's difficult, man, because like there are actually quite a lot of candidates. So I think I'll probably go for one of Mane or Firmino. And then, and then I think Torres and Gerrard are candidates. But there are guys like Fowler and Owen, you know, who are extremely regular scorers, and you would kind of like back a Fowler type guy. There's also Dirk Cout, you know, who always managed to come up with like goals on. But I don't really have a smart answer. Uh, Torres Firmino. Um, oh, fair enough. So you said two of the answers. I mean, Yossi Ben Ayoun, if you'd remember that he is the answer to 80% of all trivia questions, mm. might have prevailed there. Mm. But alas. Oh well. Whoa! Goal! That's what will happen if you click subscribe. You'll win the game. Life is a game. You'll win it. Subscribe, please. <laughs> Larkel has asked, who was the last European Golden Shoe winner to win with less than 30 goals? You want to see a goal? Goal. Who's been the lowest top goal scorer in the Premier League in recent years? Berbatov? Hmm. It was Berbatov and Tevez. Tevez together. It's not just the top five leagues either, is it? Because Henrik Larsson won it one year with 50. Yeah, but it, they're weighted based on the quality of league. So in some leagues, your goal is worth 1.5 points, and in top five leagues, it's worth two. I want to say Diego Forlan, but I feel like he might have scored over 30 goals. And I feel like I'm just saying Diego Forlan because it's the most obscure guy I can think that won it. I'm going to go Diego Forlan. Me. There's no way I'm getting that. That is such a hard question. That's rough. Sam Goss has asked, Christian Pulisic is the youngest player to score a Premier League hat-trick for Chelsea, but whose record did he break? Has Tammy scored a hat-trick this season? Because it is quite tempting to go, like, go for Tammy. Yeah, he did. He did. Against, like, I don't know, someone. Was Good Johnson pretty young when he went there? And Robin as well, actually. 
But this is just one of those things where if you've read like the BBC Sport article about that Chelsea result, then you know it, which I have not. You know though, there is something in my head that's screaming out, Robin. I might go Robin. Is it Tammy? Wow. I thought you'd get that straight away. But I only knew that because I watched uh, Unfiltered with Tammy Abraham about eight minutes ago. Uh. So it's a good job I didn't get that question. For fairness, but also let off. Bollocks. Robbie Lansdowne has asked a question which apparently I've heard is, could be considered incorrect or wrong. So I'm going to say it anyway because this happens after the game, so George has explained it elsewhere. Liverpool have scored the most long-range goals in Premier League history, but how many have they actually scored from outside the area with a leeway of 10? It also didn't matter. It doesn't really matter that I've said the question because apparently it's just... Still messed up. Sweat starting to form. Smash him on that. There is one, two, Don't three, in four in individual trickles. <sighs> I'm now seeing spots. I think I'm starting to panic. I feel like you can ballpark this though. I'm going to say 10 a season. That's quite a lot. Also, I feel like in the, like, the 90s and early 2000s, you were just watching goals fly in from 30 yards, like, because everyone was just taking pot shots from all over the gap. Nice. If you get this, you do deserve this round, but it doesn't matter because I'll probably get the next question. <laughs> 105. Cough! I'd go way higher than that, I think. I'd go like 180. 310! How the f is this Premier League era? Do you want me to go down? Right, fair enough. Yours better be like, what is Wilfred Boney's favourite colour? Your next question. That's actually more gettable than 310. <laughs> I, I, I bet it's like orange. <laughs> like the Ivory Coast kit, because he looks fantastic in it. So yeah. let's play ball, psych. Let's keep playing this. Thomas Richardson, Pato needs this to draw the round. Just read out what was on the thing. Because <laughs> I am Will Ferrell, an anchor man. Which team did Messi score his first career hat trick against back? In 2007, yes, that's right, I gave you the year, good luck. You've definitely wrote about this at some point, it's just whether you can record it, surely. I've definitely written about this, I think you'll find. There are a couple of teams sticking in my head, there's like Bilbao, there's Rio Vallecano for some reason, and then there's like Almeria or someone. But Rio Vallecano for some reason, I just imagine Barcelona whipping their asses really regularly. I mean, Almeria might have been married by Emery back then, so that's a pretty safe bet. They were pretty gash. Hmm. Viacano, why are you in my head? I don't know why I'm debating this so much. I've got fucking no idea. Almeria. Yes! Oh, I did not know that. Um, you don't get to complain about You always do this thing where you're like, you've probably written a script about that. But you the, write a lot of I, ju I just watched a Tammy Abraham video that had the answer in. And I didn't get the question. Yeah, so you point? didn't know that. That was pure luck on your part. No, I would have. Uh, I, would uh, have I wouldn't have answered it. Um, sportsmanship. That's um, yeah, complete bullshit. Complete bullshit. Uh, I need to win this round, otherwise Chris wins this and still is in the relegation playoff. <laughs> and to be fair, if McCubbin actually loses his last game, I might still be in the championship playoff. So all to play for, uh, but genuinely would quite like to win this. So let's get into it, please. Hot potato! I need more props. Bloody love balls. Mike Coxlong, can you name all the Premier League shirt sponsors on the front of the shirt? Oh, none of that Bitcoin on the arm, Watford. Fly Emirates, Samsung, Fun88, uh, Etihad Airways, yeah. Vitality, King Power, yeah. Chevrolet, yeah. Bet365. Southampton, what's Southampton? Oh my God, I'm horrendous at this. This uh, is so hard. What the hell, I'm, I'm full sponsors. Oh, I, I was thinking guy. Daffer Bet. That was yeah, just. That is that one? Is that Newcastle or something? Daffer Bet. <laughs> All I could think of was like Daffer Bet. And then I was just laughing internally. And then I, I was thinking Watford, the car phone warehouse. Pato draws first blood. For sake. I think I had 29 seconds on the clock. Eden has asked name every League Cup winning manager this century. Harry Redknapp. Mm. Wande Ramos. Yes. Pep Guardiola. Yes. Arsene Wenger. Mm. Um, Alex Ferguson, yeah. Loudrop, yeah. Um, Roberto Martinez, mm. Loudrop, all I can do is Loudrop at Swansea. I've lost! I've lost this round! Hey! Uh, <laughs> A lot of Scots in that. Mourinho, 
Dalgleish, because that awful final against Cardiff, should have got that. Should have got Dalgleish, should have got Mourinho with Man United when they won the fake double. Well, that was good. I'm not sure I could have done that much better either, to be honest. <laughs> that was, that was good. I needed that, because <laughs> that was fucking... What a quick reply. <laughs> the first round was diabolical, so... Who am I? It's Duffin! Wheels. For three points, I played with Franco Baresi, Nathaniel Klein, and Andres Iniesta. That is mental. Wah. Zambrotta. <sighs> Van Bronckhorst. For two points, I represented my country at three different European championships. So we've established that he's old. No help. And had a good international career. Brilliant. I just don't know enough about Nathaniel Klein. And of course, I came in style with my homeboy, international soccer superstar, Nathaniel Kleine. Take a walk. Wah. Torres. <sighs> when would Torres have played with Brazy? Seydorf. Mm. That would have been amazing, though. For one point, I've won the Champions League and the UEFA Cup, both with my first club. <laughs> Clive Hurt. Mm. Right, you got to get this now. I was thinking the Ajax side. Why can I only think of Danny Osvaldo? I thought of Danny Osvaldo before and Graziano Pella. And you know who else was stuck in my head? Carlo Cudicini. Why? He's got to be Italian to have played with Baresi, but I can't think of an Italian that would have played with Nathaniel Klein. All right, I'm going to go Louis Garcia. Mm. He also played for Spurs. A lot. And Barnett. Or the number one. <laughs> Thomas the Joe has asked, which makes no sense at all. For three points, I've played with Jerome Boateng, Chris Smalling, and Nevin Subotic. Nevin? Nevin. What a stupid name. Wah. Schweinsteiger. <laughs> Kolarov. Yes. Woo! So, going into the last question, Chris needs to get three points, or I've won the round and the game and consigned him to automatic relegation i've actually forgotten but you know what humiliation that's for sure oh chris this one comes from zachary sanya and get three points you will draw the game and you could potentially stay up via either normal staying up or in the playoffs get it wrong and it's a lot harder and your fate might be in the hands of sundog for three points i've played with dejan lovren raheem sterling and virgil van dyke however <laughs> There's about like 20 right answers to this uh, question, so pick wisely. Where? James Milner. <sighs> That's quite a, quite a normcore guess you went for there. Yeah. I thought you were going to go for like some f***ing Croat who played for Celtic. I can almost see the championship I mean, from down there. Why bother? Why bother answering? Just time out. But I do want to know. Just thought Raheem Sterling. No, that was a stupid guess. Um, on reflection. I don't know. I rushed into it. I don't know, mate. Uh, you know, just tell me. Is James Ward proud? No. Half right. <laughs> really? Is there any point wiping it down? It's full of sweat. I deserve it. I deserve to be where I am. I have no one to blame but myself. It's just it. It's quite a dark note to end. <laughs> I don't, I don't, that's it. Can we just end, please? <laughs> I'm in the final. Hey. Sure. Uh, check out other episodes of Stat Wars The League. Um, it's not professional. Uh, what else? No, that's it. Bye.